Good morning. Welcome into Studio 814. I'm Rebecca Petter. I'm Morgan Cozier. And it is spooky season. This is Halloween. This, this is Halloween. Pumpkins scream in the, the dead, dead of night. This is Halloween. Everybody makes a scene. Treat to the gonna die of fright. I love this. Oh, that's one of my favorite Halloween movies, by the way. Oh. Nightmare Before Christmas. I know all the words. Yeah. I'm Jack the Pumpkin King. Yeah. You know, I've been trying to make Studio 81 for a musical for a long time now, but she is not ready. Well, <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I need a few more rehearsals under, under my belt. But you have been getting ready for Halloween. Oh, certainly. We, we both have, I think. But yes. I've been really getting in the spirit, especially because last week, uh, you know, the Halloween season's here, and five brave souls, including myself from the news department, we took on the challenge of being crowned the first ever WTAJ uh, pumpkin carving competition, you know, winner. Yeah. It's going to be more game. Uh, I'm yeah. not biased. We're going to tell you what's at stake here, but um, let me tell you how it went. All right. Hmm. So since this is my first time in a while carving a pumpkin, I wanted to come with a plan. I have stencils here trying to find the perfect one to make that perfect pumpkin. And I also have some flowers that I'm going to be incorporating into my design. I think I'm going to do some kind of moon theme. I'm in the moon mood. We just had a super moon. So yeah, that's what I'm going with. Why not? We'll see what happens. Well, considering the time restraints, um, we don't have all day. So I kind of, I think I'm going to go basic, but try to do it really well. But I know I'm schooling these guys. So. Who knows, could be some sabotage involved. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I heard they have chainsaws. Maybe it's that. Oh my god. That's interesting. It's making me like a puree. Like I'm making pumpkin pie. I'm going to see what I can get done here in 20 minutes. I could you not. There are a lot of seeds. Yeah. It's got to be like a moon-ish. Something like that. You see that, right? Now the question is, how do I do with a mouth? Oh, you know what? I don't know if I love it. do like a cream film, but we eat pumpkin pie. The only thing I need to do is clean it out. He's it looks behind. Good. I kind of like it. I'm not behind. You're ahead. Jason, do we have spoons to... Look at it. I'm very proud. Let me curl this so it's perfect. I came into the competitions with very low expectations and exceeded every single one of them. I had a vision in my head for the pumpkin that I wanted to execute, and here it is. It came out, so I'm very happy with it. I did get a little excited with the knife. There's a few little puncture holes, but I think overall it turned out pretty good. We'll see what it looks like when it's all lit up. Ah, I like it. It is a bunch of moons because we're on half moon way. And you can see T-A-J. Okay. Happy Halloween, everyone. You think we got a winner after all that? Maybe close to a winner. Let's go with that. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Okay, and we did also have sports uh, director Andrew Clay and our reporter Leanna Wells. They also competed back here at the news station. Mm -hmm. um, how did it go? I thought it went pretty good. <laughs> the thing I'm excited about now, so the pumpkin's all like rotted already, so we don't have anything to show for, but we did capture some pictures. They're over on our website. You can actually vote, and let me tell you why you need to vote for me. <laughs> Whether you like my pumpkin or, uh, you know, <laughs> All, all jokes aside. Tell them what's on the line. What's really going to happen here, uh, whoever wins gets to pie another competitor of their choosing in the face. <laughs> and Christopher Nallen, he talks a pretty big game, and I think he's got a, a little run for his money. I did think I liked that he put the T.H.A. as the I know. smile. That was very cool. I liked the flowers with Maria's, but then I also loved yours, which yeah. was very traditional. Little bit. If you want to see all five of the pumpkins, just head over to WTAJ.com. And Morgan already linked it on her Facebook page, so to make it really easy, go there, vote. Not going to tell you who to vote for, but I would love to see Morgan Pie Chris. That would be really cool. You have until <laughs> October 19th, so get those votes in. 